Hey, y'all. I'm Lisa. And I'm Megan. And we're the Sassy Southern Stitchers. And we're back, finally, after a little over a month. And rearranging the entire dining room to try to get our lighting just so. <laughs> the time change is coming, and we're really having... We're seeing a lot of that uh, shadowing earlier in the day than normal, so... No complaints here. Yeah. It's my favorite time of year. Look, y'all, she's wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> It's fall in Texas, finally. Well, for today. For today, Tomorrow, yeah. I think it's going to be like 75 or something, so we'll take what we can get at this point. We ha It got down in the 30s to 32. Yeah. We had some frost, so that was exciting. And you know what else was exciting? My Texas Rangers won the World Series yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's been a season. I've watched nearly every game. You can ask Megan. She'd call me, what are you doing? I'm watching the Rangers. Like oh, yeah, from yeah. April until now. And she's, she, you were calling me last night and I was like, sorry, watching the post game show. Can't talk. And she's like, I roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was so worth it. Every minute of it. Well, I was afraid if you didn't answer, I was going to forget what the heck I even called you for. Cause the, you know, that happens all the time. And then I ran randomly have to send you text messages with just a list of random stuff. And she's like, what does this even mean? So I'm sure it'll make sense at some point when we finally get to talk again. It's been busy. We have been busy. Very busy. Very, very busy. Life update. You've been doing all the senior things. Senior things. Um, band. Uh, um, October is a uh, competition every weekend along with Friday night football games. So um, we've had that going on. Um, Super fun. Lots of senior stuff. We celebrated the seniors. I'll have Lisa insert a picture of um, us celebrating Cutter last Friday night, even though it stormed and they put us all in all in a like seek shelter mode underneath the bleachers in the middle of the whole presentation. But we made the best of it and um, we got to snap a couple pictures and all that fun stuff. And of course, this mama cried and uh, I know we had senior pep rally this morning. So I told Lisa, I'm like, I'm she gonna said, have to not even putting on my makeup. No, nope. I'm just gonna. I already it knew. Off. Already knew, and I was right. So. Aww. It's been bittersweet. Um, All those lasts. Yeah, the it, last, it is. Last I did get tickled because they announced their class song and it was some kind of Hannah Montana song. And Carter <laughs> was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> I don't even so, remember those because Will wasn't born yet during that phase. I'm like, You didn't have a class song? Oh, Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Well, I thought <laughs> it was strange because Cutter is kind of, you know, he's 17 and Alexis is 20, almost 24, and that was like her prime life was Hannah Montana. So I don't know where where that came from. Probably a bunch of the cheerleaders voted on it. Who knows? You know. I'm sitting here trying to think what was our class song. I feel like it was a Green Day song. Ours was good and rooted. It's like Green Day. Yeah. So, so that wasn't far off. I wanted Party Like 1999, but. Oh. You know. Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> you partied like it was 1999 anyways. Yeah. In 2000 and 2001. I've been partying like it's 1999. I've been celebrating the Rangers. That's been the majority of my calendar. We went to Stitch New England. We did. Boston was awesome. It was beautiful. It was wicked awesome. It was wicked awesome. <laughs> we did some wicked awesome stitching too. We did. And we had the best time. We got to see lots of friends, meet a lot of new people. Um, we shopped. We stitched. We, we actually some, went and had some lobster. lobster. Yeah. <laughs> we had so much fun um, kidding around about accents. And, of course, you know, y'all, we brought the Texas accent. But we left our R at home <laughs> for some words anyways. We yeah. had a blast. We did. The weather was nice. Um, and the trees were turning. Yes. And beautiful. when we went to um, Quincy Market, we went to have some food. And all that fun stuff. And we went to Mike's Pastries and stood in line. And that was so good. That was really good. But on the way back, the traffic was um, backed up. So our <laughs> Uber driver took us. What he took was, us down all the back roads. It was yeah, beautiful. It was supposed to be 45 minutes. Ended up being like an hour and a half. But Whoops. he took us through this beautiful area. We got to see these beautiful homes. Architecture. This, um, like a girl's school. And he pulled in and let me take photos. It was just gorgeous. The houses are Gosh, probably over 100 years old, but they're just immaculate and 
we always say the back roads are like the best part of the road trip. So yeah. we were excited that he took us down the back roads. Yeah. He was trying to avoid the traffic, but we didn't care. We were no. just like I looking at the, the window. I had the window cracked and Lisa was over there oh, snoozing. I, we and... did fall asleep. I thought that's what you were going to tattle <laughs> on me about. I Well, you know, when you go to stitching retreats, you don't get much sleep. They keep you up late. The girls want to chit chat and talk all night and well, stitch. that's what and... it's all about. That's yeah, my absolutely. favorite part. But then you want to get up and get going, too. Yeah. So. I had the wind blowing through my hair. And I was Lisa. I said, can you hear the bugs? And she's just like, Lord, only <laughs> the you. Bugs. It was so, it the sound, they were just the singing. <laughs> they were singing and the wind was blowing. I was in heaven. It, it was Truly really was in nice. heaven. Yeah. Because down here in Texas, I think it was still 99 degrees or something <sighs> crazy. So. We brought it back with us, though. Yeah. It's been chilly the last few days. I had to get out. We had sweater weather. <laughs> yes. I called her the other morning and she's like, hello. I said, what are you wearing? I was like, like, what? You pervert? I don't know. I said, because it's sweater weather. I was like, it is. So. That was funny. Yeah. I didn't get it. I didn't. Sweater weather. I was late to the show. So what else? Well, I think that's all my life updates as far as. Yeah, I actually did make better notes. I'm looking in my book of days, but a lot of it was just Rangers playoffs, Rangers playoffs, Rangers playoffs. Um, we actually did it. We had Halloween too, but um, we, <laughs> I jokingly, no, but I really, I put a sign out that said, sorry, no candy, watching the World Series. <laughs> so we shut down the shop. I made a big pot of chili and we just had a good time watching the Rangers. I made a trip into Walmart and that's something I don't do. I hate going to Walmart. It's not. I haven't been there in probably nine months. And you don't want to go went, back for no, nine months. <laughs> I went for Halloween candy. I basically had to float alone to be able to do that. No, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But I did spend a fortune in there on Halloween candy because we have a lot of trick or treaters that come through my neighborhood. And um, I was, you know, bundled up all ready for them. Had my stereo speaker out there, and we probably got half. The amount of trick-or-treaters we normally do. Watching, I have so much candy left over. They were watching the World Series. Well, it was really Perhaps. cold. Maybe so. But it, it was, was really, really cold, cold that night for, yes, for yes, Texas. Yes, so. it was. Oh, yeah. It was memorable either way. I loved it. And I also think we've had three new subdivisions built Oh, maybe Within they're the not past, coming so, into your yeah, neighborhood as I'm much. I'm thinking that that might have something to do with it as well. So We get a lot in this neighborhood too, but they go more toward the clubhouse, which is a like we're a little farther away of, from our subdivision. There's a big pool and a clubhouse, and they a lot of people, they go around that area. They decorate to the nuns. Oh, yeah. Not me. I I'm boring. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I got a pumpkin sitting on my porch. That's all you're going to get. Because I'm cross-stitching. Yeah. <laughs> right? Shall we talk about cross-stitch? That's what we're here for. Okay. Episode three. Three. Yep. Finally, Teresa. Are you glad yes. about it? I know you've been hounding us. We're here. We're here. I promise. Okay, whips. You go first. Okay, I'll show my whips. What have I been whipping on? Oh, gosh. I hope I don't start an avalanche taking things down. Oh, I said that jokingly, but then I really did. Okay. <laughs> Remember this? The Teresa Kogut Halloween sampler from Hello Halloween. Love stitching on this. I'm putting it away, sadly, for the season. But look, I made all this progress on this fun, spooky house. And I got so excited mansion. when I was putting the bats in and... Will and Tyler were like, yeah, it looks great. And you know what's funny? You asked me about this ghost. Mm -hmm. Guess what? That ghost was charted in the wrong color. Oh. So even though you like that color, it's actually supposed to be Just white. Just keep it. Uh, well, You'll always there, remember that I like that ghost. Perhaps I will. Maybe I will. You know what they say about mistakes in cross-stitch? Zoom in on the top part of that, but yeah. Okay, so I'm putting her away for the season. So, um... Stitched on 20 count under the sea, Ada in properly primitive. I've said that three times now, so y'all probably know already. And then I got this out. I have that chart. It's on my want to stitch list. So um, I'm kind of in a predicament with this one. This is Bobbing for Pumpkins from Brenda Gervais. And... I'm stitching it on 32 count Hazelwood, which is one of my favorites, Fiber on a Whim. Love the modeling in it. It's just a really pretty brown. But she, Brenda, calls for you to stitch this with just one thread 
over 2 on 32 count. So it's just kind of turning out a little bit. I mean, it's supposed to make it look more antiqued, but what do you think? I think it looks really good. I mean, I already have a whole witch done, so I'm probably not going to start over on it, but I was really kind of struggling because I'll show you in just a minute. I got to finish. And I like it. I think you should keep the one. I love stitching. It looks two good. Two over two. I'm stuck but on one. One, one over two. I made some decent progress on that. We got the witch's dress all finished and put some shoes on her. And that is all for whips because I got a lot of finishing done. Are we gonna, Do you want me to show my finishes too or do you want to go back and forth? Whatever you want to do. We don't have as much on the table this week. I can't believe no, it. No. Um, Especially after going to a retreat. I don't have very many whips because I left my weigh-in bag that has my October and my November weigh-in in it. Um, sitting in my tray at home and so I sad. worked so hard last night because I finished the November So hopefully I will have that FFO'd quickly and I'll post it on my Instagram since I forgot it now But um, I didn't work on that. I Shame that's been my favorite chart and I'm probably not gonna stitch <sighs> Maybe the December I'll finish one. the November one. Remember I said I was gonna do that little fall banner. Mm -hmm. Didn't happen October was busy. It was it was really busy, but I did finished some other stuff. Um, I did finish my October wordplay. So I just have one more of these left. This is um, the word wordplay series by With Thy Needle and Thread. My brain like went kaput. Um, we've done our own floss conversions on all of these. This one, I did the same thing as well. Um, I'm stitched, I stitched it on color and cotton rice paper which is a 14 count Ada. All of these are stitched on for me, 14 or 28 count. I like the, sc the scale that they they came out. What do you think about the colors? I didn't I do did. the, I like, I didn't I do the purple one. Purple. I know, and I, I really liked that purple one, um, but I went more traditional. And I thought it turned out really pretty. So mm -hmm. I, one of the things I picked up while we were at the retreat was a floss pack. It was like a, from, Oh goodness! Was it color and cotton? It's or? buried. No, forbid, forbidden fiber. Fiber co. Yeah. I'll show it in a little bit. It's buried, but anyways, I used some of those, and they were really fun to stitch with. They had a lot of variegation. So, one more to go, November, I'm and I will then I will finish them. Oh. I think I have. Well, I'm restitching March because I don't like the way I did it, and then um, that's the only one I really like how it turned out. But I did it, I accidentally did it on 32 count, and so it turned out a lot smaller. Yeah. Than the rest of them. I have all the way up. I have December through mm, April, so I have May forward. So I have a lot more than you. But maybe as I'm finishing mine, you'll be inspired to. Yeah. I, it's one of those things where I stitch a series and I get so lost in it and then it's like whenever I stop I'm done for a little while so it takes me a while to get back to them but I'll get them done eventually totally understandable so remember the jack-o-lantern jubilee book that I had out which was also um with thy needle and thread um I finished up this little trick-or-treat pattern this was so fun to stitch it went so fast I could have finished this literally in a day but the world series and the playoffs were going on so um it took me a couple of days to get this um finished but I stitched it on hazelwood as well and this is what made me wish that my bobbing for pumpkins was two over two just because it turned out so bold and pretty your other one looks really good I don't know okay. why it, it really does you know how you do this one's also the 32 count fiber on a whim hazelwood all the called for colors except for I didn't have Oscar by week style work so I subbed my color and cotton murky for that color it's just the stem on top of the pumpkin so what fabric did you say that was hazelwood fiber on a whim you have some I think I have several pieces yeah, I and do. I don't know that I've used them. And some of them are very different. Some of them are a lot lighter than the other batch from one batch to the next. I have one more finish. I did it. I finished Autumn Rules by Primrose Cottage Yay. Stitches. I told you guys I wasn't going to put it down and I didn't. Uh, but I didn't FFO it. So maybe next month. There's still time. I think in the next couple days I might. I was trying to decide... Um, if I want to put it on this paddle, I'll show you that in a second. Or if I want to um, 
if I want to finish on something different. I put mine on sticky board, and then there it has sat since I put it on sticky board. Mm -hmm. I've determined that that is what I'm the best at. Things go to die on the sticky board? Yeah, just not <laughs> FFOing. I'm the best at not <laughs> FFOing anything. Well, I, it's a lot of work, I have, as we discussed. I, I had four sitting on my table that I was like, oh, I'm going to get these done. I'm just throwing my whips over there in a pile. <laughs> they, after I worked so hard to iron them all. So, okay. you want to show your whips and finishes, yes. and then I'll show my FFO. <gasps> I got an FFO. So, I'm going to start while you're over there. Yeah, I can't stand it. You know how I am. When we went to the retreat, I started, um, Teresa and I had talked about um, starting Snow Village by um, Little House, is it Little House or? Little House Needle Works. Little right? House Needle Works. I don't remember if it was that or. Country cottage. Country cottage. One of the two. I get them so mixed up. I know. They're, well, they're kind of synonymous. Like, yeah. One in the same. Um, So, I have that kitted up somewhere, and I don't know where it has gone. I have a bag of things that I had kitted up back when I was in the hospital, and in case I had to go again. And I don't know where that bag went. So, at some point, I'm going to chrome across a bag It'll be like Christmas. Of, yeah. Kitted up projects. So, at the last minute, packing to go to retreat... I called Teresa and said, hey, let's just start any village together. So, I started the Santa's Village, and I didn't get a lot done. This is probably the least amount of stitching I got done at any retreat. Um, we just had such a good time. Just we a good had time so many laughs. So, I got... Oh, wait, do you want me to hold it up? This I done. It. I don't know. If, is it in the screen? Yes, okay. it is. I got that done, oh, and I stitched does, a little bit on the plane funny. coming home. Do you want to tell them about the fabric it's on? It is 30 count portobello. I don't know who it's by. But I love that fabric. Me um, too. It's got a great texture. I've stitched a couple things on it. And I actually am going to use the bottom piece and stitch another one of those Twin Peaks Santas. You got quite a bit well. done. Yeah. I got... We stitched on the plane a lot. I didn't on the way there because I was, a, I was a nervous wreck. I haven't flown in quite some time. And I was having some you breathing did issues. So but I did good. good. You did so good. And on the good. way back, it was better. So I did get some stitching on the way back. Um... And then I also bought this little bag when we were at the retreat. Beautiful. Most of the things that I received or I bought I've already put to use. But I this is by, um, I can't even read that. Lumian Pie? Yes, Lumian Pie. Yeah. Thank That's you. That's a cute and little bag. I love button. the vintage Christmas and mm -hmm. the. The way that it's quilted on there with the little squiggly lines, whatever you call that. And yeah, that's cute. Really cute, so. Yeah, a lot of the haul got put into projects or immediately started using, or especially the bags. And um, my other whip that I worked on, I brought this out just the last five days of October because it is a massive project. I've been working on this for... On and off for, what, a year? We bought this about a year ago. Uh, yeah, we bought a silver needle. Maybe yeah. on the way back from Stitchaway. Praiseworthy Stitches, Bump in the Night. So that. cute. And I've pretty much converted all my colors to other things and what color I have on cotton. hand. Cotton, yeah, mostly color and cotton. Oh my gosh, it's I'll so good. I'll let you hold that up. Yeah, it's a, it's a biggie. And I forget what fabric that is. It is a linen, a Weeks Dye Works linen, because this was one of the pieces I said, you can stitch on linen. I don't is think it it's Weeks. I think it's uh, Picture This Plus. Oh, was it? I'm pretty sure. Maybe we looked at both, and I just remember that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. But I started the haunted house and put in all the pumpkins except for the stems, and um, got the little haunted house going, and I'm changing out. I'm going to end up ripping out the barn door brown that's on there. I'm going to change that to a different color. And all the little ghosts that are on, in white actually glow in the dark. So, that's fun. Super fun. That yeah, tree so. is so cool. I love these. These are very intense. But I love how you stitched the barn color up and down. I forget. That's, I think that's Dracula. 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 I yeah. remember because you needed more of it. Yep. Um, Beautiful. So, there's that. And it's got a bazillion colors because... <laughs> because it's, it's a, a big, big chart. old chart. You'll be stitching on that one for a while. And that's okay. Yep, that's okay. That's what we love. I think I bought two of those praise, praise work. Actually, maybe three. And, she said uh, she was going to be crinkling. Now I see yes, why. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so that was my whips with the weigh-in. And I did work on my Live on Little. However, I did not bring it because I'm at the point where I'm doing 
you know, bits and pieces and you can't really see the progress. So I probably won't bring that back to show you guys until I finish it, which hopefully will be next month. No, I'm not that quiet. <laughs> I've got other things I want to stitch. I know. But within the next couple months for sure, because it's definitely something I want to get finished. Um, this was my other whip and this was a uh, <coughs> stitch along. Sorry. <laughs> I choked on my own. We may have to edit that. <laughs> Are you Sorry, okay? no. <laughs> I'm crying. All right. I'm okay. I think. <laughs> okay, so this was another whip that I um, started and actually finished. Um, it was a stitch along with Stitch of Friends for, um, was it Joyce? No. Yes. Oh my gosh. I wrote all those notes down. Sarah? Sarah started this Stitchy Friends for her birthday. Stitch along. So cute. It turned out so good. I love all the colors on it. Did you use called for? I did not. Well, some of them are and some of them I changed. Like the red, um, I used Claret. this one. Claret. Oh. I just love that color red. I added that one in, and then I picked a couple other ones. Most of them are, but um, this is the pattern. The Wee Santa. The Wee Santa. Yeah, you got that finished fast. Did you start this on the plane? No, on I started plane? it when they were I when they remember. started it, and then I couldn't put it down. And then I knew that the so week cute. three I had a full schedule of appointments and things, so I went ahead and I finished Stitched early ahead. because I knew that <clears> I wouldn't be able to catch up. The little pinwheel like quilt flat or flowers is so cute on that one and i stitched that on um 36 count color and cotton beethoven this is actually something i just purchased That's at the pretty. stitch niche and i went ahead and used it like um, but it's stitched one over two and i really like mm -hmm. the it, it see when you do it but that's 36 count i think that's why i like it better one over two it's a little bit more um dense yeah the 36 versus I'm so sad you forgot your November weigh-in. I know, and I finished it. And I, and I stitched you that so on hard. that Portobello as well. So I really liked she stayed the way up it late. turned out. I did. I always stay up late. <laughs> well, that's the truth. Um, I also started this whip because I... Well, I say I started it. I have to find my charts. But... <laughs> I started Ooh. pulling the colors. Oh, that's the one you sent me a picture of the other day. Every, ever since Missy finished this, I'm like, I'm, I've got to get that stitched. And so when Teresa brought it up for um, the retreat, I was like, definitely, let's start it together. And then, of course, like I said, I had the fiasco. But I know that I need a bunch of white. So I started testing out um, the whites that I was going to use. And then I found that I was going to use the um, B5200 was going to be the white I was going to use. And then I was searching for the fabric. So I found a piece of fabric. It says it's a 28 count. Um, this is a piece of limited edition that I bought when we went to Color, Color and Cotton. Cotton this summer. However, so pretty. Show them that. I. Oh, it's so good. I don't know. You can probably hold it up better. Is this for Snow Village? Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, for Snow Village. Um, I don't know. The top one is one over two and the bottom one is two over two and i like the coverage of the two over two however the fabric i guess was dyed probably in hot water so the the holes are very tight and i feel like it makes my fabric very fuzzy that so like 36 count i'm thinking do you think it was mislabeled i don't know perhaps have you put one of those little i have not tools on it that would be too easy lisa <laughs> Well, first you have to find one. <laughs> True. But have you ever stitched with thread conditioner? Because someone no. mentioned that. Or wax? No. Mm -mm. And I thought maybe I could give it. that a little bit of a try. I think I'm the but one then, that said that. Oh, it was? Oh. <laughs> okay. But I have no experience with it, so. I used it way back only on one project, and I probably didn't even finish the project. That's why. But I'm worried about... Using white thread with thread conditioner. Y'all let us know mm. if you've done that. Does it change color? Like if it sits for a while or does, does dust stick to it? I don't know. I don't know how all that. Yeah. 
I don't know. <laughs> but leave us some comments. Let us know what your thoughts on that are. Because I don't know what I want to do um, to get that going. But I do want to get that started. I love finish. the blue. Beautiful. Um, I've been dreaming about using some blue fabric. We've collected a lot of blue fabric over the last few months. FFOs? I have an FFO. Yay. I don't have any with me today. I got this done in the nick of time, and I so enjoyed. This sits up in my bookshelf. Oh! <laughs> Take two. Are we going to edit that out or leave it in? Because it'll be really funny. Okay. I didn't put magnets in this yet, as you can see, because when I finished it previously, I finished it for Christmas. So I pulled that out, and um, I put in this beautiful purple plaid. This is one of the Priscilla's pretty plaids. I had a full yard of this, so I needed a long piece um, to get the coverage without having to seam it. Um, and then this is the Bent Creek Trick or Treat Row that I started and finished. Mm -hmm. And this was what I hunkered down on and I really spent like the whole retreat stitching that. So um, I really enjoyed like getting it FFO'd and looking at it like through the end of the Halloween season there. So now I have to get my Thanksgiving one finished and put in here. I won't it's throw really that you again. I have one more previous finish I wanted to show because I just pulled it down off the wall. And this is the paddle I was talking about maybe putting my autumn rolls on. This is Lizzie Kate's. Oh, this is going to be hard to show because it's so big. Lizzie Kate's Halloween rolls. I stitched this last That's on my two-stitch list as well. Wow, well, I can't remember when I stitched this, but I got, a full, I got it fully finished. It's um, really pretty. I like that fabric. It's super cute. And I couldn't tell you what fabric this is. I think it's fiber on a whim latte maybe, but I'm not sure because that was way before we started thinking about doing a floss tube. So, um, tell me what you think. Should I? Will autumn rolls fit well, on that? It will, but it's smaller. So yeah. more. They have smaller paddles and I've, I actually had my heart set on finishing something on that. I have that same the same paddle cutting board or whatnot whatever you want to call it and it was too small the actually was the autumn rules and i went in there i was like this is not gonna work and so i'm just gonna go buy another another one because that works why not <laughs> you can't have too many paddles can you no no so i have christmas rules i want to stitch that, that. and um yeah so i'm trying to decide maybe if I we need put... to do that on our 2024 list for Ooh. must stitch yeah, I feel like um, lots of plans. Lots of plans. But what's next? We usually well, talk about haul, y'all. Well, we do talk about haul, y'all. But I do want to talk about something real quick before we get started. Because I wanted to bring this up at the beginning in a video. And then, you know, I didn't get my cue card, I guess, in time. The train jumped off the tracks? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, you know, there's no script with this. This is all just kind of flying by the seat of your pants. <laughs> we winging it. However, um... I did want to talk about, so we had had a couple of people that said our last video kind of was hard to hear at oh, first. Yeah. Um, the quality was a little bit less than the first one. We are new to this and what we're kind of figuring out is that sometimes whenever we upload the video right away, the 1080 HD doesn't completely finish. So if you're watching the video right whenever we um, release it or upload it, it and takes some time to buffer or whatever. I don't know the technical terms. I didn't go to school for any of that I know, computer stuff. Me either. But it takes a little bit longer for the 1080p to like load. So if you ever experience that, just hit pause and come back maybe in an hour or so and it should have remedied it. But what I did find is that if you've already started playing it on that lower quality, you actually have to hit that little gear button and change yeah. it. There's um, like a, a sprocket or, a, yeah, like you said, a gear or a sprocket or a wheel or set. It's like the settings. And you can select playback quality and you can change it because most of the time um, my phone or my TV, one or the other, will select the, ba the best. bare minimum at oh, first. Oh, the minimum. Okay. Because it it wants to, it's my phone. My, my phone wants to be like power saving because when you go to 1080p, it uses more power or whatnot. So... Check that setting on your phone. Um, 
And we will try this time. I'll just, I'll be more patient. I won't hit go until it's completely finished. It was just taking a really long time. I, I've heard other people say that when they edit their videos that they take longer to upload. Um, I guess I was up really eager last time, so. Well, and I, it's not just us. There's been other people that have said that too. So we're working out the kink still, so please bear with us. And, um, and maybe we can just blame it on YouTube. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> um, also, one other thing I wanted to mention kind of in the same category was um, we had some older women who were talking to us about um, helping them learn to subscribe through their TV. They don't watch the cell phone or a computer. They do it on their TV. They watch FallStube on their TV. And they always say, I want to learn how to subscribe, but I'm not. Um, they don't know how to do it. Yeah, they're technically challenged. And... Me Lord, too. I've been dealing with my parents this past two weeks. We got them a new smart TV and they upgraded their iPhones. So they're at this age where they don't want to learn anything new. And I'm like, I don't ever want to get old because I'm just I'm like, already at that age where I don't where want to learn they, anything new. <laughs> I don't, I'm trying to have patience with them and they're not that old. I just, they're just like, meh, you do it. I don't care. You know, so. All summer, dad kept saying he wanted to get a zero turn mower. Well. Dad had some heart issues back in March, and so I did all the mowing all summer. And he has this old riding lawnmower. Those are the best. It works just fine. I told him, Dad, please do not get a zero turn. I don't want to learn something new. I kept joking with him, telling him I don't want to learn to drive with those sticks. But, I mean, come on. Let's just keep it simple. They always... But we, we will record a video for how to subscribe on yeah, the TV. Yeah, or we'll talk about it next time. I thought about getting making some cue cards. Maybe oh, that'd be a good idea. Because um, some of the girls um, mentioned, Screenshot. yeah, they just want to know how to be able to subscribe. So we thought we would maybe try to help with that as best we could. I don't know. We, we'll dad be, will want to know too, my dad. Or, you know, we'll try something to be able to um, help with that. And not just for us, but they wanted to, wanted to subscribe to other people's sure. uh, floss tubes as well. Yeah. Um, so they can win some of their giveaways, and that's always fun. So, speaking of giveaways, we, we need to play a mat. <laughs> yeah, we have some um, pass a stash we want to do. Yes, I need to go through that and get that organized. Pass the stash. Yeah, lots of things to get organized. I'm sitting here looking at my haul. Look at that mess. Mine's in this tote, but oh my I guess we'll... goodness gracious. Um, well, that'll be fun, I think, to show how to, how to do that. Uh, before we get to haul, um, I do, we do want to say thank you so much to all the people who, um, shouted us out, gave us some praises on our videos, all your wonderful comments. Again, um, we never thought that it would be this exciting, enjoyable. You, you guys are just too nice to us. Um. I'm behind on watching floss tubes and I get text messages that's like, so-and-so shouted you out. I'm like writing it down so I can make sure that I watch it. And I know, like we said, October's just been so busy that I feel like I'm behind on so much. Um, I had a lot of baseball to watch. Yeah. So that took top priority over floss tube. <laughs> um, so if, you know, we don't, we definitely don't want to miss anyone to say thank you. But we um, did get a shout out from Helen D and we got to meet her up at Stitch New England. Yes. Super lady. So much fun. She's just a joy and mm -hmm. a total and crack her, up. Her sister <laughs> she, as well. Yes. And, and um, we got a shout out from her on her floss tube as well as Sarah Memphis E. And we got to meet her up she there. She was so kind. And, um... I heard that we had a shout out also from the Sable Stitchers, so I need to go check that one out. I haven't had a chance to watch that yet, but thank you all so much. And, yes. And Teresa, the Garden Goose Stitcher, shouted us out again. Of course. Got on to us for being slow to get our video <laughs> uploaded this month. <laughs> Sorry, y'all live. And it um, Missy and Kathy of Two yeah. Needles Pulling Thread, and of course, yeah. they were both at um, Stitch New England as I'm well. I'm so glad. You know, I'm, I met Missy at StitchCon just for a little bit, but... Um, Kathy, I didn't get to sit with, but then at Stitch New England, we got to spend some time together. So it was exciting to get to meet them finally. And, and Ashley. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ashley as well. Um, Alexis is excited to get to see her whenever they, you know, get to meet up. But, um, 
I'm like I said, I'm behind on Floss too, but there's a bunch of them I gotta watch. Java Girl put out a new one. Oh, yeah, I she's watched back. a little bit of that. Um, if you haven't seen um Brianna B R Y A N N A Lentz L E N T Z, she has a couple of videos recently, like 50 top um fall, Halloween. She just Ooh. did a Christmas one. I was watching that last night as I fell asleep. Um and if you want some good enabling those are the videos Go check that one out. She has some good charts to recommend for the different seasons. So danger, um, yeah. <laughs> but they're good, and she's just cute as a button. So haul, 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 y'all, haul, y'all. You're okay. first. Um, I'm gonna show my color and cotton monthly thread pack. I didn't even get into it this time. This was the October Thread Club from Color and Cotton. I get the all skeins five or excuse me all colors five skeins so you have a few of these as well i'll let you show mine that way. <clears throat> okay and um this is so pretty like i said i love how they put these together i feel like you can just grab these up in fact you know what these will look pretty on that santa that you just stitched the wee oh, yeah. santa um the first one is land of snow beautiful blue and the beautiful green um Nutcracker prints. That's kind of a blue green in between one of those. This is another green. Fritz. Gold, which is Cavalier. And Clara, which is a red. Oh my gosh, your poinsettia. Do not let me forget. Everybody, don't let us forget the poinsettia. the poinsettia. Oh, floss. I was like, <laughs> you need too early for poinsettias. Skein. I'm still nursing my mums. What do you mean? I had to cover my mums up this week so they wouldn't freeze. Mine are on my porch. I felt like they would. It's kind of an Look at you. enclave. But All organized. Is this the other five colors that were? The next five. Um, oh and gosh. I haven't got into mine either. Matter of fact, whenever I was going through my box to come over here, Last night, I was like, oh, yeah, I don't even know if I looked at them when I got them last month because we were gone. We were busy. Can you read the colors? I can't see them. Can I can't you? see them. Okay. Marzipan on the far right. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be on the right anymore. Marzipan is the light one. The green is Dewdrop. Snow Queen is the blue. Point shoes. Oh, it's pink. Like point shoes, ballet shoes. And then the red is Harlequin. It's kind of a pinky red. Really pretty. I'll just let you hold these up. I think we got a little closer to the camera this time. Yeah. Grandfather clock. Oh, that's a pretty brown. Just make a stack. Wooden soldiers. Ooh, I like that. Mm-hmm. I think Drossel it's going to, that's going to take both of us to say. It's brown. It looks black Beautiful. on the camera, but it is a, like a brown. Well, it's pretty black. Winter spruce, which is green. These names all make me excited for Christmas. I know, me too. Merlet, Merliton? Merliton? I'm going to say beautiful, it has something dark, dark to do red. with maybe the Nutcracker. So I'm then, thinking that know. too. Maybe we need to go back and watch the Nutcracker again. And then this was the Especially with fabric for the monthly. Oh, the club. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I think it's, what's it called? Sugar. Sugar. Oh, sponge, sponge sugar. sugar. That's a 36 count. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that color a lot. Nutcracker would look gorgeous on all that. So what pattern shall we stitch <laughs> of the Nutcracker? Told you jumping off points. Um, oh my goodness, the haul, y'all. So, so you finish with your haul while I organize mine. Okay, I got into my haul, as I said though. I did want to show these um forbidden fiber co flosses because I had never stitched with these and they were really nice. And it was actually like a thread pack. But I got into it and was using them. I was using them. I used them for my um, trick-or-treat, my Bent Creek trick-or-treat. And I also used them for my wordplay. So, let's see if I got them all. This one is really fun. So, um, it was a floss pack. If you're not familiar with this um, company, Forbidden Fiber Co., they do have a website. We'll um, put it in the link 
or in the notes as well. So Ooh. the first one was pumpkin spice, a beautiful orange. And then this one was the one that was like, ooh, I was ooing and awing over. It's called Scarecrow. Look at that variegation. Wow. Got to find a project for that. It would be fun for that Quaker. Haunted, which is a really great gray. This is the one I used on my wordplay. And this is the purple that I used, Sugar Plum, for my Bent Creek Row, which I really love that. That was a change. I didn't, that was, I don't remember what that was called for, but... And then full moon it was is a fun like yellow. Greeny, greeny black color. Yeah. I was like, what do you think about me changing this to purple? And she was like, if you find the right purple. And then we did find the right I purple. I love purple. So what's not to love about purple? So some of the things I got from Stitch New England, the shop, and some of the things I got from their shopping annex that was set up at the retreat. And please don't ask me which is which because it became a blur it was after a whirlwind. A bit. And we were cramming stuff in suitcases to be able to come home. Yes. I do remember I did get this in the annex. I'm going to take this out. This is so pretty. This is also a Forbidden Fiber Co. called Bells on Bobtail. Isn't that pretty? That gold. It um, it's a linen. And I got a piece of Atomic Ranch. This is an Ada called Prairie Land. Look how fun that is. Look at the modeling. That's cool. I know. It was gorgeous. And I was like, I saw someone else Ooh. standing in line with it. And I was like, I'm going back to look for more. Oops, I just hit the chandelier. Forgot that was above us. <laughs> and then um, in the shop, I got a ton of floss. And I'm not going to go through all of these because, I mean, it would take me all day. But basically, I was kidding up some Brenda Gervais projects. Um, and also just as I saw pretty floss, I was grabbing them. So they're all literally like fall colors. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I just, I was like, I gotta have it all. And then they had some of this linen. I had never heard of this before. Irish Boy Sky. No, yes. Mm -hmm. Irish Boy Sky. This is a 30 count linen from the Primitive Hair. And uh, it was just so pretty. I just was like, okay, I need it. I don't know what I'm stitching on it, but I gotta have it. Beautiful dark color. And then um, this was also in that same bowl. Look that how reminds me of pretty that. that is. Grandpa's, Grandpa's sleeve. sleeve. It did remind me of that too. This is Fairy Wool in the Wood Witch Tina. 32 count linen. It says do not wash it. So keep that in mind if you <laughs> purchase any of that. Oh, I just thought it was really fun. So I'm going to be on the hunt to find some projects for that for both of these. Fun. I know, right? And then I ordered because all the charts I wanted, I had a list. I was being very selective when I was buying charts um, this time. So I, um, I had a list of things I wanted and they didn't have them in the shop. So I placed an order with one, two, three stitch when I got home and I got this chart, which is tiny, <laughs> tiny modernist autumn traditions sampler. Isn't that cute? Is that not the chart we saw when, at um, keepsakes that someone stitched it like four right on top of each other and didn't stitch the words or is there, is that a different chart? They have a couple like this, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I, I saw someone else believe. stitched it in a dark on a dark blue, and I was thinking the same thing. Like, I need to go through my stash and see what I have. And then, remember, I had finished almost all these little Whirly Gig series from Heart um, in Hand. So I ordered the Winter Whirly Gig because this is the last one, and, you know, it's a series. Got to be done. So I'll work on that soon. Cute little cardinal on there. And then there was just a few more flosses that... They didn't have in the shop. Um, Hickory Six, my favorite brown. You can never have enough of that. Weeping Willow. These are classic color works um, flosses. Those are two of like my favorites that when I run out of them, it's a problem. <laughs> I love Hickory Six. And then there are a few Weak Star works that are again some of my like all time favorites. This white is called Grits, and I, I love, love it. Yeah. 
because it has some a little bit of like tan in it. It's not just white. I think that's what um Christy cousin Christy is using on um oh that feast pumpkin. of friendship. Oh, feast of friendship. Yeah, the bowl, I believe. I think that yeah. I think she was she might have been using it on that pumpkin she's stitching too. Um this is Oscar. Of course, I already substituted that mur murky, but it's always good to have it on hand. And this is Weeks Dye Works Purple Haze. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. I bought some of that just recently, too. Somebody was stitching with that at the Wednesday, like two months ago, and I was, I said, what color is that? I, so I, I think it. we both wrote it down <laughs> because it was written in my book of days, and I was like, I don't know why I need this, but apparently I do. So I was actually pretty good. I do have some other freebies, but I'll show those that I got off the freebie table. You can show your haul first. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, again. I need a break. Yeah, I don't remember what I bought. I'll try to be good. What I bought at the shop versus the annex at the thing. Um, We've slept since then. And when we showed up at the airport um, oh to my fly goodness. out, my suitcase weighed 50.0, and she said... <laughs> You can't buy anything. And I was like, well, some of those clothes may not be coming home or something because <laughs> I will find some stuff to bring back. But um, thankfully, we had some treat bags and giveaways. Yeah. We lightened our load a little bit. But yeah. I was quite nervous when we went back to the airport about what, what your suitcase going to be overweight. Yeah. Well, we made it. You so. did it. I'm so proud of you. Um, at the shop, I did buy the That's plum pretty. gradient color and cotton. Um, so the pretty. oak gradient color and cotton and the mesa 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 um gradient set i just you know me and color and cotton i love that um and the fabric i bought let me talk about at her shop she had all the fabric laid out and hung up on clothing hangers and like pant hangers or whatnot it was so nice and they were you know um done, organized done by, by sizes count. and there was like uh, linen and all that on one section and eight on another, which made it so nice to be able to go through there um, and just look through instead of having to take everything down, unfold it, see the modeling, see if you like it, fold it back, put it on a shelf. Oh. The shop was so well organized. Yes. All her charts too. She had them in like by um, designer. designer. By designer. And they were in these little awesome file um boxes it was very well organized yes and then there were some sections of like holidays so like some christmas stuff was over you know in a different section it, it just it was really nice and a side note when we left that shop we went and ate at what's it called mad moose mad moose if you're ever in their area go eat there it was really good that was probably the best food I've ever had. Definitely the best baked beans I've ever had in my entire life. She was like, I gotta find the recipe for this baked beans. I was good baked one beans. on the way to the airport. Still haven't found it, but oh my word, it was delicious. And the mashed potatoes were to die for. Um, I had some baked shrimp. It was really good. I didn't care for the Ritz cracker topping, but it, nonetheless, it was still really good. But if you ever get a chance to go there, please go by there because it was a really good place to eat. And it was just really cutely decorated. Mm -hmm. It was fun. It had all kinds of mounts and I don't know. It was just really cute. I don't the know. bathroom I hope we get was to go really back cute. Sometime because I'm definitely Antiques. they've announced the dates for that, so we need to talk about that. If we we had a great time. The retreat was amazing. It was very well organized. Mm -hmm. We had a great time. It was a good mix of like having stuff to do as far as they did um like giveaways and raffles and things like that and shopping and then just like no schedule because there was the same amount of people there as, as at stitchcon but this that was way more laid back to me which can be a little bit more enjoyable you know what's um, crazy it was i felt like it was actually a smaller room but it wasn't it was quieter somehow yeah i don't know um, what the difference was but it was really nice. Yeah. It did not feel overwhelming. It did not feel like we, there were 300 people there at all. We enjoyed it. Yes. Um, so the fabric I, I bought back at the shop was... Um, After she told me, do not let me come home with one scrap of fabric. And she was nowhere to be found, apparently, because I did. I come back with fabric. I did it, too. <laughs> um, fabric by Stephanie, by Stephanie. Chocolate milk, 
28 count linen. We need to compare this to the milk chocolate because we have some milk chocolate and I'm curious. My milk chocolate is more, has a little bit of a pinkish color to it. Not uh, a lot. A little bit more mauve -y. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would think so too. Um, it's pretty. This is um, Fiber on a Whim, Silver Fox, um, 28 count Apparently, linen. I missed out on my half of this. Yeah, well, it was funny because I picked that up and Teresa said, what's that? I said, Silver Fox. I'm fixing to ask Lisa if she wants the other half. She said, no, I do. I said, okay. <laughs> you snooze, you lose, I guess. <laughs> so. I don't know where I was. You were on the other side of the room. <laughs> Not babysitting Ooh, me. Um, I didn't see this. This is Atomic Ranch. Um. 36 count crocus yes crocus crocus that was um on the wordplay the march wordplay has crocus i remember that oh yeah beautiful oh my gosh that's really beautiful and this is like show and tell for me too Let's and what else see. did you get what else at the annex 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 <laughs> with our texas slang I bought a couple patterns. Not what's it say? Not, Not even, even a, mouse. a mouse. That's so cute. Who's the designer? Needle needle wing. Not don't forgot. forget to floss. Oh, finally, finally a farm, farm girl. girl. I'm so sorry. Finally a farm girl. Should have done a better job writing that down. Looking at it first. It's so hard when we record. Um, everything looks backwards. Of course, when we. Are finished recording it it flips it somehow but sweet wing studios a little autumn i just love the little squirrel on that that's cute but yeah um we can read i think sometimes what birds um crowning the tree this is a little stocking oh that's cute i didn't see that show the back of it too I like will. the back photo i sure will oh that's, mm, so, that's pretty. so pretty yeah i've never done a stocking but there's a first time for everything I have a stocking over here that I'm going to work on next um, time. Lila Studios. And this, I, I really love. They had this little crow finished in the shop. The shop and I believe it's Lila's. I'm, oh, sorry. Lila or Lila? I Either one. I think it's Lila's. Um, the crow is so The cute. crow was finished and I just loved it. And so I asked her for the pattern and she said, oh, it's a two-pack. And so... You got the um, cardinal? The cardinal comes with it, which Alexis loves cardinal, so I figured that she could stitch that one and I could do the crow. So cute. Um, stitches by Ethel. They had some, the trunk show was really great. The little Christmas tree. Sorry, I, I may have, should have popped these in still. Not always. And um, Stitches by Ethel, Vintage Bird. Isn't that so pretty? I saw this one finished in there too. Yeah. It was really cute. Oh, I just love the little bird and the flowers. And um, also, finally, a farm girl. This We had saw this That's pattern cute. before we left, and we love the pilgrims. And so when I spotted it, I immediately said, oh, got to have that. Autumn blessings? Yes. That's there so go. cute. Oh, my goodness. The pilgrims get me. I'm going to put that on my 2024 stitch list. I and like the then church too. Um, the last of my haul... Um, it's just from... One, two, three, stitch? No, Fat Quarter Shop. I ordered oh. this. I, I don't even know if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stitch that or not. Is this the December? It is. And... I need to get mine, too. December way in. I'm behind. Um, I sat down at the table today, and I told her, I am so behind. And she said, look at this list I made this week. She gets out her phone. It's like a mile and a half long. She's like, I just... I had a moment where I was like... I have to just yep. get this off my mind and just write it into a list. Anything that I just come across. Like she my door me, and my car was squeaking. I'm like, I'm oh, going on a list. I'm going to have my husband do that. I've got to do this. i got to do that. I'm just to keep adding to the list because. Watch out, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is from Stitch Niche, I believe. Aged paper? Yes. Color and cotton. That's really pretty. I've had to put my own labels on those because those little papers end up tearing off. So I've used that. I was wondering what that yeah, label was. Yeah, I had to was. put a cardstock because a lot of them, when I put them in my box, they end up ripping off and I never know what it is. And the last bit of my haul is her book of days. The new book of days for 2024. I'm thinking about ordering mine from Colorado Cross Stitcher so I can get it all bound. She puts extra pages in it. And, and um, I got that from 123 Stitch. And then while I was there, I um, 
picked up a couple. I needed some oranges, really. Was the, You ordered whole, every orange under the sun? Well, kind of. Oranges and kind of a pinkish, pink, pinky orange. Do you want me to show them one by one or just, nah, I'm just flash them? Nah, I'm just going to hold them up, yeah. Weak Sourks and Classic Color Works. Yeah. Kind of just some oranges. Ooh, those are fun. And, yeah, just some fall colors and then... I saw this on there, Wisconsin Woods. It's a purple, but... Yeah, that's pretty. I've never seen that color. I haven't either. I didn't know if it was like a special edition or... Wisconsin Woods. So anyway, that's my haul. Haul, y'all. Did we make it through all the haul? We did. I feel like... Well, we did, but I also got stuff off the freebie table at the retreat. Did you get stuff off the freebie table? I got a, the I didn't get freebie table stuff because you know how I am about that. I got freebie. Well, our group passed around. This is going on the freebie table if you want it first. Also, our friends there were incredibly generous. So a lot of um, the things that we got as gifts from table mates, um, we both got them. So we're not going to show all of it because that would be redundant and boring. But um Emma um, stitched this little uh, floss bed for me. Speaking of cardinals, isn't that cute? I think and bag. Kathy stitched this beautiful project bag for me. So definitely going to have some holiday projects to put in there soon. There's mine from, from Emma. Oh, and yeah. then um, so cute, the butterflies. Teresa made me one as well. The little oh, geese. yes, the geese. I got one of these also. We kind of just put all of our stuff in a little pile. So we're just going to flash this stuff. I know a lot of people have already seen that. Um, this is the swag bag. Oh, yeah, the swag bag. That they gave us. It was great. It had a lot of good stuff in it. Patterns, um, all kinds of goodies. And then Tracy stitched these project bags From for OG. us. OG Citry? Yes. So cute. And she has a little um, spot there for project, the project. details. Yeah. And look at these little, um, what do you call these? Zipper pulls. Yes. Ah, that one's so cute with the little ghosts. I was about to say floss bob. Where does that come from? Is know. that even a word? Floss Mine bob? the pumpkins. I pe she gave us a huge bag of project, a stack of project bags um, to pick from. I couldn't decide. They there were, were so cute. many cute ones. So many cute ones. Um, sorry. Before Stash we, that went around. Oh, what, you want to show before, something else? Well, I was going to pull out the stuff from... The swag bag? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, just quickly. We're just going to thumb through this. Um, <laughs> actually, not even the swag bag. Just kind of everything. From the quickly. retreat. Oh, yeah. They gave us this um, corner gauge. Hell, indeed. Um, she designed... Uh, Helen D. designed a cute little... Um, pouch for this to go in so a lot of people stitched this at the retreat it was a quick stitch wickham wicked awesome stitching super cute helen is so talented i oh picked up these in the store i did purchase oh, these haul, haul um, ended up i was in standing there. there and Teresa actually put them in my hand and said i must have them i put them back and she said what are you doing <laughs> and so they ended up still coming home with me um just when a is a floss um what do you call that um, I can't think. Does it say it on there? No, it's from my Scarlet Sky Designs, but... This is a little um, project zipper pull Teresa that you said, can write yeah. on it. You can write on it. Um, it's acrylic, and you can write on it and then erase it with, I guess, alcohol or something. Another sure cute little scissor, scissor fob we got. Tracy made these. Tracy made 300 of these button scissor bobs. So cute. Um, Tammy gifted us these. Oh, yeah. Back. <laughs> um, these sweet holding books. it upside down. Um, From the Daily, the Daily Stitcher. Stitcher. It's a little project kit up book. We should get this out. I have some stuff I need to kit up. So cute. And then I just, generosity, these, everybody's so generous and they come by and give us Let me ball straps. I have a whole stuff, um, scissor fobs, all kinds of fun all things. All kinds of cute little things. If you go to a retreat, expect to get spoiled rotten. Yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you. There's all kinds of doodads in here. We won't Floss bring them straps. all out. Um, and then Missy. People came by and gave us candy. We got some of the, what were those main, um, it's probably, you probably have one in there. I ate it. 
I don't have anything. I ate it on the plate, remember? We ate so much <laughs> chocolate and sugar. Missy made us these beautiful little bags. And oh, I think so Teresa cute. said that they were Vera Bradley. Yeah, Vera and Bradley she, yeah. place mats. And you know she, how we are with our Vera Bradley. So. I know. So now we have a matching. So we're going to have to put a zipper pull with a and I, M and an L so we don't get them mixed up. Again. It's stuffed, stuffed to the gills. Stuffed to the gills with all kinds of just wonderful odds and ends that people gifted us so thank you thank you thank you um all kinds of treats so if you've never gone to a retreat and you've been shy about going or signing up go not just for the treats but you're going to meet so many wonderful people there and um get to visit with people that are just like you and um meet connect network and all the things and it truly is amazing um if i'd never gone to that retreat in 2018, 2019, whatever year it was, I would have, it would never have crossed paths with the women that I'm friends with today. So go, just sign up and go. You would have met me. Oh my goodness. I know. Where would we be without? We wouldn't even be having this floss tube. Yeah. I was just going to say, people are so talented. They come around, they do paper crafts, all kinds of things. This was um, from Donna. Just so kind and sweet. And Later, when we go to put up our Christmas tree, we're going to think of that. Remember, she put a little sticker on the back from Stitch New England. So, I love that. Mm -hmm. Little Show your, um... Oh, my. Um, this was stuff that was, like, past the stash, basically. It was going to go on the freebie table, but um, a piece of linen. I'll just keep it quick. Someone had this bag of little scraps that are already all, um, what do you call this? <laughs> What's wrong with Surged. my mind? Surged little pieces of fabric of Ada in all different colors, and I thought this would be fun to make some ornaments out of. Yeah. So I just grabbed this whole little bag and then some patterns. I had never seen this before. This is My Country by Jordan. Little Stitch Girl. Oh, Little Stitch Girl. Yes, you're right. So cute. And then Country Cottage Needleworks. I love this one. This is um, the Nativity. Cute. I know. And Tracy gave me um, Autumn in Appalachia. I bet there's the, the Stitcher Hood. A handful of, I can think of a handful of color and cotton falses that would look really good with that. Mm -hmm. And then I saw this on the free, this is one thing I did get from the freebie table. This is um, Wild Animals of North America. So Will is an animal lover. And I actually saw earlier this year someone had created a quilt mm -hmm. with these cross as cross stitch blocks. And I thought, I don't know if I'll get that adventurous, but I couldn't see the book and not grab it because I feel like there's stuff in there. My son would really love. He kind of treasures, you know, some of mama's cross stitch and then souvenirs. Um, this is a blackbird design. What's I this one called that you found that over souvenirs there. of summer. Oh, well I didn't. This oh. was in the past. What got past passed the around day. the table. Tracy had it. And then this cute little Lizzie Kate, um, Lady Liberty. Isn't she cute? A little stand-up. I don't know if I'll finish it as a stand-up, but I think it's super cute. Yeah. And you, would you mind holding mine up? Sure. Okay. You got There's some fabrics that I got. Past I think the stash. Tammy's, either Tammy or Missy, one of the two, but. Pretty. I like up. that green. Um, this Plum Street pattern. Um, a Shepherd's Song. That's pretty. Oh, it's a little sheep on it. But Merry Christmas. I remember when Tammy stitched this. The um, Heart and Hand Christmas. Tiny Town? Tiny Town. I was like, Little Row. Tiny Town. <laughs> um, and then the Stitching with the Housewives, Joy to the World. And then I got a handful of little Stitch Girl patterns for Alexis, and I already gave those to her. So, well, lucky girl. Yep. So what's next? What? Um, plans, or do we want to do talk about meetups? You, you talk events. about meetups first. Meetups. Okay, so we meet up with our library group the third Friday of every month at the Burleson Public Library from ten until one um, p.m. So if you'd like to join us, if you're local to the North Texas area. That's a fun thing to do, get together and stitch. And then we usually stitch at the Stitch Niche on the first, third, and fifth Wednesdays of the month with the DFW stitchers. 
but that's been a little bit less frequent just because back to school, we've had a lot of activities going on. So if you're looking to meet up with us there, maybe just message us and make sure we're going to be there because I would hate for someone to have traveled to see us and then we're not there. And if we're not there and you come anyway, there's a wonderful group of ladies to Oh, absolutely. With. You'll have a great time. Paula and Taylor and Debbie and all those ladies are a hoot. So you'll fit right in and Ching Ling, she's always got a joke to tell. So always a we good love those people over there and Raymond as well. Um, and Raymond. And Raymond. The girls and Raymond. <laughs> and yeah, that's what we said. The girls and Raymond. He's always stitching some really nice things. It's something different every time. So did we get into another event since we had a floss tube last Stitch Con. Stitch we can West. be Stitch West. Stitching in the Wild with Garon. I think we had already talked oh. about that, I think. But we've got retreats coming up in the mm-hmm. next year. So we'll be at Stitch Away next. Mm-hmm. Stitch Away in January. Um, that's coming up. So we're super excited about that. It'll be here before we know it. I was I telling like I her yesterday, I was like, do we need to already start pa- packing for that? Because the holidays just hit and life gets busy and yep. whew. Time and we'll flies. be driving to Ohio, so we got to bring our kitty litter. <laughs> we got to pack the kitty litter. You guys, our husbands laugh their rears off at us about, but we're from Texas, and when we get bad weather, it's ice. And so we prepare for the worst, just in case. I mean, two girls off in Ohio, we don't know we're what gonna we're going to run into. Some things in the car, kitty litter being one of them. <laughs> And a bag full of snacks because we will not be going hungry sitting in a ditch somewhere. (laughs) Not at all. We're not getting stuck in the ditch because we got the kitty litter. And we're going to have the traveling lights so we can stitch. So we'll be over there stitching and munching while waiting on emergency crews to come and pull us out of the ditch. (laughs) Vera Bradley blankets to keep us warm. Yeah. So, but we like to drive. We, We enjoyed the flight to Boston. I was so thankful that it went easy because I was having a lot of anxiety over that so it was fine I just had to grab her by the arm and say we we are gonna be it's gonna we're gonna be there soon it's gonna be okay (laughs) I was watching um moonlighting they brought that back on Hulu I have run out of everything to watch so if you have any good things to watch put them in the comments um now that the baseball season is officially over I'll need some things to watch too so I've been watching stuff from like the 80s and everyone's like what in the world (laughs) she said what are you watching I'm like moonlighting yeah I I knew it was something old just based off the outfits and everything but I had no idea I didn't watch that one I remember my mom watching it I never watched it I was too little but um probably would have gone over your head probably but it's, it's pretty good show okay add it to the list um I have one thing I was going to show. If anybody has, I know there's tons of tutorials out there, and I'm not sure the exact um, name of it. I want to say it's like a pillowcase dress, but it's like when you take a t-shirt and make it into like a toddler dress that adjusts adjusts as they get bigger. Um, If anyone has used a certain tutorial that's really easy that they can recommend, I would love... Um, for you to send it my way, email us, all you know, whatever. Um, find me on Instagram. I think I know who's going to be getting that. Dress. I have this T-shirt, and um, I want to turn it into a pillowcase dress. I think that's what they're called, where you put the ribbon, you cut it, put the ribbon, yes. and then you add some fabric to the bottom. A little ruffle. Yeah, that'd be cute for my niece. I knew so, it was going to be for her. If well, anyone has a video, please send it our way. Little Miss Thing. She looks just like you, actually. I know. That's what <laughs> she... It's funny how people's siblings, like, that happens where your kids look like your sibling. She's a mess. She loves Coco Melon, so she's always saying Coco. Oh. Coco. What's over there? That's all... Plans? Plans for oh. upcoming... Um, oh, baby. We got a lot of things. I feel like I've got... A million things out? You do. It looks like your stitch bag exploded. Totally fine. While I put all this away. I'll talk about mine just a little bit. So I bought this kit, not cross-stitch related, but it's a um, felt stocking kit from, how do you say that? Busilla? Uh-huh. Busilla? I don't know. We're from Texas. It's probably something a lot more swanky than that. But anyways, um... So, my grandmother had stitched one for me, a felt stocking. Tyler's mom had stitched one for him. And Will, I stitched one for Will when he was born. And so, I'm going to stitch this one for my mom because she's always with us at the holidays. So cute with the Santa and the poinsettias. So, um, I'm going to get started on that. These actually go pretty fast because everything, you just, it's 
it's a kit, so. The Pretty. sequins, I was, I was very nervous to do beading in sequins, and in fact, I think I might have left off that on Will's because I didn't want it to look too girly, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I end up doing that for my mom or not. We'll see how much energy I have left toward the end of it, right? Because those things go on at the end. So I wanted to kit up um, this Told in a Garden Brown Swiss Dairy Joy and Joy with the Carolina Stitchers and Missy with Two Needles Pulling Thread have started a stitch along um, for Told in a Garden. I think it's T-I-A-G with friends is the hashtag. I'm pretty sure. I will put the official hashtag below, but I want to stitch that up. We picked these up at um, StitchCon last year. I picked yes. one up at StitchCon last year. Hey, keepsakes. I think I'm going to stitch this Uber Turkey from Bent Creek. Now, she and I were reading the instructions for this. And this is, the call for is 18 count linen, two linen threads with one strand of pearl cotton or six strands of embroidery, embroidery floss. Well, finding 18 count linen is a challenge. So I'm not sure. I do, I remember seeing this finished at the Silver Needle and it was super cute because it was big and it was really thick. This mm -hmm. is 18 count linen. So I may have to find some. I, I would like to stitch that. Call Silver Needle and ask if they have I was any. going to, actually. That's exactly what I was planning on. And then um, the Prairie Schooler, this little ornament series called Barnyard Christmas. I thought these were so cute. Um, I want to do those. And then I pulled out a couple. Hey, I found a needle. <laughs> you never know where you might find a needle. <laughs> this one the needle minder. Um, I got these last year. I think whenever... We had one of our stops at Cranberry Bog Cottage, the Prairie Schooler Evergreen. I, I Obviously, I pulled out all these. I'm probably not going to stitch all these, but I wanted to stitch something Prairie Schooler. And then I had these A Merry Mini Surprise Little Santas. Those would make cute little ornaments. I forgot Cranberry Bog Cottage is on our way to I know. Away. We need to talk about Stitch Away and where we want to stop. I'd really like to stop at Cecilia's because we haven't made that happen yet. I think because last time it was closed when we were it coming It fell on days. There. Yeah, it fell. On, we were traveling through on days they were closed. But maybe yeah. maybe this time we can make it happen. We'll yeah. see. But if you ever get a chance to go to Cranberry Bog Cottage, it's in a house. It's really cute. And they have the cutest little cat, Gladiola. Yes. yes. It's, it's a black cat. It's a great shop. Beautifully like put together. Oh, my goodness. Everything is impeccable. Lots of pretty linens and... It smelled good. I bought a candle from a soy candle, and actually, I warmed it the other day because I don't burn candles. Mm. I warm them, and um, that my one, kids were like, "Oh my gosh, it smells so good." That so. did smell so good. I was tempted to buy one, but I didn't. I'll have to get one next time we go. I had a list of like whips that I want to pull out. I th I might want to work on. Actually, I've not started this yet, but winter ABCs by Little House Needleworks. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going to happen in November. It's here already, though. We better start figuring yeah. it out. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to work on for November and December from now to the end of the year. Um, I got a handful of things. and um, I think you're more organized than I am. My first one is in this beautiful snowman bag that Kathy gifted me at the retreat. And I love snowmen. She and does. She has. I love Kathy's bag, so I was just so ecstatic to get one of these. You were actually just about to ask her if she'd make you bag. I know. And it was there, and I actually did cry because I was so excited. So, which I am a crier anyway, so. <laughs> but in this little bag, I have my Winter Quaker by Rose. Oh, Wood Man or called. look at her starting a Quaker without no, me. I started this last year. We bought this Winter at, Quaker. At, uh, Silver Needle. This is a whip. Rosewood Manor. This oh, is. Oh, that's beautiful. And don't get me to line about which the direction it goes. Oh, it goes like that. I know this. for sure. But this is stitched with the um, Valdoni yes. threads. Silks. I've right? never stitched. No, they're not silks. They're, they're not. Oh no, they're not. I don't know what this stuff's called because I'm not a professional. But <laughs> they come on a little roll and they come in a little package. And um, were they easy to work with? You have to have a needle with a pretty good size eye on the mm. needle. So I can't mm -hmm. use my lovely Pat Carson's. But 
it stitches fairly quickly. Oh, it's um, pretty. Oh my goodness. Thank you. So I'm gonna bring that back out and work on it. And what a wintry, pretty wintry fabric. I like that. And I'll pass everything to you. Sure, I'll put it back. Now I've become the Thank you, Lisa. Repacker. <laughs> um now if I don't put it back in there right, don't, don't get mad at me. There's no right way. Okay. <laughs> well, as as we'll, it's in the bag, we'll see about counts. that. <laughs> um the next one I'm bringing back out is this Cherry Hill Stitchery Have a Cup of Cheer. I want to finish this one for my um, hot cocoa station. I didn't get a... Ooh, there's a needle. So cute. Um, I didn't get a lot done on that last year. I started it, I think, in the car pickup line, and that was about as far as I got. So I definitely want to get that one done. It's a pretty color fabric. Don't ask me what it is, right? Yeah, I think it's uh, mm. coffee tea dyed. She, Monaco, might, is it she might know. Is it it doesn't feel that thick. Um, this whip is one of those long time way back from the beginning. This my, this is one of my probably top ten <laughs> oldest whips. I know this whip. <laughs> I've spent some time with it. I'm trudging along on this whip because it's on Ada. Y'all tell her to just give it to me and start over again. <laughs> I tea coffee dyed it myself and I'm kind of over the tea coffee dyed self- I don't know. It's not that I don't like it. I love the look of it, but I don't know. It's, it's You're one just of those not things. Feeling that's, it. Yeah, not. So it is the Little House Needleworks, Lantern Lane, or the Macaulay Culkin House, as people refer to it. And Oh, it's so cute. I got a good amount done. There's yeah, another you needle. Do. Well, if we're looking for needles, just get in the project bags. I have been looking for needles because they don't make my Pat Carsons anymore and they keep dwindling down. If anyone has some 28 Pat Carsons they want to sell, I'll gladly buy them from you. <laughs> Shameless plug about yeah. I will request. buy them from you. Um, the next thing I want to bring out and work on is... Hold that one up. What a little cutie. I finished, this is all through the night. Um, I finished Jack last year or the year before. And this is a series of three charts. So I'm wanting to do, not that one, the next one, I believe. Yes. Oh, how cute. Yeah. So I'm wanting to at least finish that little guy. Start it Harry. and finish it. Harry. With the little rabbits. With the little rabbits. Those are cute. So, are you stitching them all on one or individually? Um, they're all going to be on that same piece of fabric. Yes, but I'm going to finish them individually. Okay. Because I have a little uh, Christmas trees that they that that one goes on. The next one that I need to bring out and give some love to is um, Mint Creek. This is one of the mantle series that I purchased at Silver Needle a while back, and I, this one's going to require some. Um, uh -oh. frogging before it gets I remember and this one these all have individual charts this is the problem with mm. the series is they're all individual charts that end up being one there's like three or four charts and there's a mess up there's a boo boo yes where they in line the up. charts where they line up so it throws everything off and I've got to go back and copy them tape them together to fix what I'm going to do and then I'm going to show you okay, progress yes. that's so pretty so I'm going to have to fud, uh, either fudge it or fix it. And I think I'm going <laughs> to end up having to fix it because it's not going to line up. I tried to fudge it and it just threw everything off. It wasn't off, working. So, um, those are all stitched with um, the pearl cotton. And they stitch up very quickly because that that's that 18 count linen you were talking yeah. about. So the holes are really big and I you can that. whip through and you have to stitch with a big fat needle. I wanted to see what, yeah, it's almost like an embroidery needle. And... Um, Anyway, those are really pretty whenever you get them. I have my patriotic one about 95% done. I don't know why I haven't finished it yet. So that guy I'm hoping to. Speaking of and plans, we've heard um, some friends are doing 24 and 24. 24 starts in 24. Are you thinking you're going to do 24 finishes in 24? Because you mentioned that last month. About well, finding finishing pieces that you already had and matching them up. I'm, I'm throwing it out there. Maybe. But what I am going to do, and I'll talk about this in our next floss tube. Um, I've mentioned it before. I do stitch out of season normally. I stitch out of season. 
And in 2022, I believe, um, I really stuck to the schedule and I finished a, a lot, lot of projects. projects. So I think starting January, I'm going to go back to that schedule and I'll bring that schedule with me um, next month and share with you guys, anyone who may be interested. Um, I'm out of water. Uh-oh. And I like, keep getting tempted and it's going to make that awful, you know, there's nothing left in You there. got all the good out of it? I did. Um, so I'll bring that schedule with, with me and I'll talk about that. That's probably what I'm going to do for 2024 is to get back on my schedule. That way I can get some stuff done because I want to get with, with, get rid of most of my whips. And I actually, I think I have 24 whips. So maybe I'll just. Oh, that's not a bad thought. I have my maybe. whips all written down somewhere. And the last thing that I'm going to give some love on is this Teresa. Is... Actually, what I thought you were pulling out a minute ago when no. it was the Macaulay Culkin house. No. <laughs> I've spent some time with this whip. This is... Go what ahead. A, just tell my... on yourself. Tell it all. This is one of my absolute favorite charts. I love this chart. At the moment that I saw that it was going to be released, I was like, as soon as it's available, it was in my mailbox, like, at ASAP. I think I, I probably maybe even paid faster shipping because I just love this chart. I started it um, on Tea Coffee Dyed, my favorite Tea Coffee Dyed Ada, I believe. And I fell out of love with it after finishing the roof. Show them the chart real quick. <laughs> I finished the roof and I did a lot of the bricks along the side and I can't remember what else. This is Little House Needleworks. Kringles. Kringles. And yes, thank you. that roof is no joke. Like, she spent a lot of time on this. Yeah. And, um, I did not... I, someone... I don't remember... Someone stitched it on regular tea, coffee dyed Monaco that was already, you know, the, that already comes like that. And I was like, you know what? That looks a lot better. It, I don't... You know, it doesn't have the modeling in it. And so, I was like, I'm gonna start it over. So, I gave that pattern and my floss and the whole shebang i said here Teresa, you have it you know we'll have catch up it. yeah so i started it over on the 28 count um monaco tea coffee dyed and this has been my progress she got pretty far again but this time you started at the bottom i did i started which at the bottom. was probably smart because you'd already stitched all that roof and so so you might have... that's what i have done this hasn't had um much love in quite some time however <laughs> Somebody has stitched this on blue fabric now. And when the moment I saw it, I was like, oh, am I going to start this over for a third time? Y'all, tell her this is fabulous. <laughs> it is not that it's not fabulous, but that blue just made it pop. It, it made did. it just. It felt like a winter day. And all your other things that you're stitching for winter are all on that. You might give that some thought. So, who knows? I might be starting that one over for a third time. This is the one I actually meant for her to just go ahead and give it to me because I know she's going to start it over. But you know what? Alexis might want this. Maybe. You decide. Anyway, I believe that is all. Those are all the things that are going to get love from me for the next two months. Woohoo! I didn't bring out what I'm going to stitch on as far as whips that are already going because I don't and I don't know that I really have all that many Christmas whips because I I think I have some stuff kitted up to start but I don't think that I have progress on them the only thing I can think of is I had I started a Mill Hill Santa <laughs> that's a cuss word <laughs> <laughs> you guys I love the way those turn out when they're finished but Sorting through the floss is a beating. Oh my goodness. Someone needs to write them a letter and tell them, yeah. uh, poof, help us out with this. Because light green, dark green, medium green, medium, medium, you, medium light green. <laughs> I'll give you one strand of each to be able to decipher which one's light green, which one's extra light green. And you're like, I can't even tell a difference. But I bought one of those Mill Hills last year. At, we both did. Yes. At and Silver Needle. I finally came to you and said, help, help me figure me. out what colors these are. Once I got that situated, I went to the chart. I stitched a whole bunch on that perforated paper, which is a learning experience in itself. And then I was in the stitch niche a couple weeks later after I got all this part of the house done. And I looked up and I was like, 
that's not the color that I stitched that. So I my chart was different from what they stitched in the shop. And of course I liked what was in the shop better. So I know. I, I did don't the know. same thing. I started mine and then I realized the green was different. I mine was a Santa, like a sort of a Southwest Santa. And I was like, oh, do I want to tear this out? But I didn't stitch mine on the perforated paper. I started stitching it on a piece of kind of a large scale, like 10 count or something, um, fab linen. I don't know. Maybe I'll you get know that what? back out. You're going to have to insert a picture of this, but I just remembered something you're going to want. Okay. If anybody out there happens to know where she can find this Mill Hill pattern. Oh, yes. She'll insert a picture. We saw it on, fin was it finished? It's the silver needle yes and it's in an old magazine of mill hill we cannot find it um but she's looking for pilgrims there are yes. more pilgrims I so if anyone happens pilgrims. to have that magazine or knows where she can get it would you please um let her know because yes. she'd love to have it yes i would i don't even know what the name of it is so i couldn't tell you that but we'll put a picture in so you can see someone out there in the stitchy verse will know oh yeah someone's probably like oh i have that in the whip already so, well, I think woo, um, that was a long video. That was. I do have one more thing to say. Um, since starting our false tube, we've had so many wonderful people that have found us on our Instagram channels. Which is your Instagram? My Instagram is the Sassy Southern Stitcher, and mine is Sassy Southern Stitcher. Megan M E G A N. Um, you can find us there, but. I've had a lot of friend requests, which is wonderful. However, some of them I'm not too sure about. I know that they have like one or two cross-stitch pictures, but they aren't friends necessarily with the rest of the community. So with some people already being hacked previously, I don't want to get in that category because, you know, there's a lot of things on there I don't want to lose. So if I have, um, if you sent me a friend request and I've denied it and you know, you notice that. Send me a little message saying, hey, I'm not a hacker. I'm a real stitcher. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I'll accept your friend request. Or if you don't have a profile picture, I'm probably not going to accept it. Just because I'm really trying to be leery on all that, which I'm sure that y'all can understand. So mm -hmm, Absolutely. I actually, I accepted someone's friend request and I started getting messenger messages like right away and they were really odd and I was like something is wrong here and so I just blocked it because same thing I, I mean people scam yeah unfortunately on uh those social media sites so, all the time yeah. so if, if we if we ignored you we're really not meaning yeah, don't to take be, it personal don't please. take it personally um just send us a message and say hey I'm, I'm a legit person <laughs> I really cross stitch so yeah Okay. And I'll get back to posting on Instagram. Um, I got one finished done this month, but hopefully next month I'll have some more. I'm definitely going to finish my other Bent Creek row. I've been holding off on posting my stitchy stuff on Instagram because I want to show you guys first before I put it on there so it's not like a double whammy. So now that we've posted the video, yeah. I'll add some of this stuff back onto my Instagram so you can see the stitching there. And if there's color changes or things like that, I will probably try to list those in case you're interested as well. Perfect. Anything well, else? I don't know. I guess we'll see them in December. December. <gasps> oh my goodness. That sounds so far away. It won't be. I know. We're going to blink and it'll be December. Oh. What? One more thing. Book of Days. Book of Days. <laughs> November. Someone has a birthday coming I do. up. This and girl I decided to have a sal, which a um, birthday stitch along. Yes. Next Thursday is your birthday. The ninth. If you the would ninth. like to start this or any hands-on design pattern with me, or um, there is a hashtag, and I don't know if Lisa saw it because she knows how much I hate being called Meg, but the hashtag is um. Hashtag Meg's B Day Sal. And um, Amber Cisco, you'll get a kick out of that because Amber Cisco is the only person allowed to call me Meg. So that's what the birthday Sal is going to be because I didn't want it to be too long. 
Cute. Our hashtag. So. You're giving yourself that nickname. Okay. No. So no. this is Doodles Christmas. Yes. Doodles Christmas, heart and hand. Heart and hand. But stitch any. Did I say hands on design? I meant heart and hand. I'm but sorry stitch if I did. any doodles. Any doodles. Any little uh, heart and hand chart. Any you heart want and to, hand yeah. you want. Oh, okay. So I can stitch my whirly gig? You can. For your birthday? You can. Okay. So I think I'll be starting this for Meg's B Day, <laughs> SAL. <laughs> so fun okay don't forget to tag me i'd love to see you guys you know if y'all feel like joining in um just to celebrate november Big 9th 42 Woo! i have friends talking at the football game about botox and i'm like ladies don't do it i have friends that are already dead <laughs> and they would love to have them wrinkles and y'all are beautiful mm -hmm. so i I'm really am at this place in my life where I'm the most happiest at 40. Um, 30 was hard. 40, I've just been really embraced really, it. Yes, I love it. So I'm, I'm enjoying every year of these 40s for whatever reason. I'm thankful for it. So I hope you join us. And I think that's all we have for this time. This might be our longest video. Sorry, guys. And we had to. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm not I'm sorry, sorry at all. Uh, we'll see oh, you in December. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. One more thing. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about all this before we get going, and then we forget. In January, our flaws to in January. Mm. Everyone's going to be at home still, probably from the holidays, right before the kids go back to school, all that kind of stuff. We hope to shoot a video before we go to Stitch Away. And we thought, because the Floss Watson cousins had did a, done a Q&A. That was fun. That was fun. So we thought maybe with, between this video and January, you guys could submit some questions in the comments for us. And we'll add some Q&As into our January video. Um, just to add some content since everyone's going to be looking for stuff to watch after the holidays. So, so fun. Okay. So yes, submit some questions, things that you might want to know about us and birthday sell check, check. I'm going to say it one more time. Is that all? That's all y'all. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see you in December. Happy stitching everyone. And happy Thanksgiving because we won't see you again until then. So and happy Thanksgiving. Eat lots of good food. Mm. Bye guys. Bye.